This is Cybert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map Stusa. In the bottom left hand corner as the yellow Reaper 17, this is Senna. In the top right hand corner as the Cyan Marked of Kane, this is Futurama. All right, Reaper 17 versus Marked of Kane. Once again, an unusual, huh, an unusual opening and an unusual matchup. A couple of descents mixed in here. Looks like three in the north and uh, three in the south. So, going to be able to grab those Tib Spikes and then maybe even do a little bit, little bit of damage. Kill a Tib Spike of your opponent, something like that. Marked of Cain is probably the best faction to do this against. The Awakened do not have tremendous DPS for uh, for their just like base unit. And this one guy will go down. The buzzer also does go down. But from here, I assume things will be relatively straightforward for each of these guys. War Factory's coming up. EMP's locking things down. He gets two EMPs, it looks like, on that stuff. It looks like these buggies are going to be able to deal with the guys in the north. The descents in the north will have a hard time actually taking out that Tib Spike. And uh, they may eventually get it, but for now, this buggy is slowly killing them piece by piece, me squad member by squad member. And it looks like finally Senna just decided, eh, whatever, I'm going to get as much damage as I possibly can. In the south, the Tib Spike did go down. So they get these guys both hitting each other where it hurts in the economy. EMPs locking down harvesters and refineries while Tib Spikes get cleared out on the Futurama side of things. Once again, these guys facing off on this same map, but of course, a uh, very different game so far. No fast airfield from anyone, and of course, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. I guess fast storm riders could potentially do something, but they don't have the harvester killing power of orcas, so I don't know that it would ever really make a lot of sense to do that. That time locking down just the refinery, not as big of a deal. Nothing was trying to refine at that moment. Up to his five harvesters, good to go. Operations center out on the field for future Rama, so uh, always some potential there. Although, you know, he's not Black Hand or Nod, so we're not going to be seeing like a flame tank kind of a rush coming out from him and uh, more harvesters out on the field up to those five harvesters for future Rama so good for him he's you know stabilizing getting things up and running expansion on the way for Senna of course he's got those Reaper harvesters free force fields built in and we'll have to see is it just gonna be a shard launching kind of army is uh, sometimes Reaper 17 that's what they love to go for Buzzer Hive gets dropped as well in the middle. One Harvester going to be transferring up to the north for that expansion. Still no pack up of the MCV. It's just going to be into the straight tier three. So that is what Futurama has planned for us. And I clearly, I have no idea exactly what he is going to do. But we'll have to see. A couple of gun walkers, rather a couple of shard walkers, a couple of seeker tanks as well. And the stealth tanks do reveal themselves, so he does know that that's on the way, and he does spot the Redeemer Engineering Facility also on the front line. So he knows what is headed his way potentially here. And once again, Futurama late on the expansion. Instead wants to get everything up and running with just this first field and then worry about next steps after that. Stealth Tank's getting healed up a little bit here before coming back into the fray to do a bit more damage. Of course, their volleys are pretty darn powerful. They are able to get a lot of damage out with just that one stream of rockets. Lightning Spike coming down as well, and a Hand of Nod will be the response to this Harvester getting killed very quickly. It is, It does get targeted down, and it looks like it will fall, just barely getting sliced by those discs from the Seeker Tank. And this buggy is absorbing a couple of shots here from this Seeker tank, going to be allowing the Stealth Tanks to clean up that Lightning Spike a little bit more quickly. And for now, Senna does pull back. Of course, in the meantime, he's got a, well, a barracks up at his expansion. I was going to say he's got his refinery rocking and rolling. Uh, not a second one just yet. He instead went for Tier 3 back at his main base. And this will be revealed relatively soon as these Stealth Tanks are going to come in. And they get the kill on another Seeker tank here. Not, uh, not able to really kill off or kind of even things up economically. But 
portal does, or the descents out of that portal do snipe that raider buggy. Going to be stopping it from doing anything else. And this MCV, it's uh, kind of on the way in a curious direction. So it could always be one of those cases where you try and clear the front lines with the Redeemer, and then you set up your MCV and take control of your opponent's expansion after that. Warp Chasm now out on the field. A couple of tripods here as well. Harvesters splitting down to the south to go for a bit of that harvesting action. And uh, the Redeemer turns around. So I was going to say Senna needs to buy some time, but actually Futurama may have purchased that time for him. And for now... Tripods are here, lots of harvesters, the one refinery, the MCV now going to be on the move down to the southern field, and the air tower is also here. One Vertigo out on the field, and I think, I assume, Tibcor missiles will be the upgrade for that. Uh, ooh, phased the harvester, so sh saved it just in time. Gets a full load of Tiberium stolen from Futurama's future field, and uh, gets away with it. Seeker tanks will be going down to these stealth tanks, but uh, again, losing Seekers this late in the game probably isn't a big of a deal. His Eradicator Hexapod is now out, and the Redeemer is here to join it. So Shock Troopers going to be hopping inside of that Eradicator Hexapod, at least for now. Up in the north, nothing can stand against the power of tripods and descents, is apparently the story there. Vertigo Bomber is going to be coming in. Getting the kill on one tripod. The other one is down a little bit in health. Descent's going to be coming in potentially to try and finish the job that their allies earlier were not able to do. It. Supercharged particle beams has been purchased by Futurama, so these shredder turrets are powerful. And uh, nope, no kit, no Tibcor missiles for him. At least not just yet. Radicator Hexapod out here. Stasis Chamber also here. Man, those Vertigo Bombers, they sure can eat away at Tripod Health. Second Refinery finally going down. First Refinery in the south for Futurama. Eradicator Hexapod all loaded up with Shock Troopers. So there is always the possibility of getting some lucky shots off on some... Uh, is this EMP going to do anything? No. L getting some lucky shots off on Vertigos, as that may have just been looking for a bit of a reveal. Now the Stasis Chamber is low on health, but it is still here. Another tripod does go down, and the portal is also sold off or eliminated there. And War Factory now here in the south. So a direct assault from either one of these players could be met with uh, very little resistance. Although an Eradicator Hexapod will take a lot of damage from those four Vertigos, especially if the uh, Redeemer is also there. Actually, if the Redeemer pops off Rage Gen and the Vertigo Bombers get a free bombing run, they could either go for the Corruptors or go for the... Eradicator Hexapod, either one could be, could bring a lot of potential damage. Stealth Tanks showing up here, and uh, Vertigo's coming in once again. Going for the snipe, they get another tripod, and for now they escape on safely. Going to be heading back home. Fourth Vertigo Bomber being added on to the mix. Eradicator Hexapod has retreated all the way back to the main base of Senna. Going to be forced to produce a couple of engineers to recap those husks. So good on Senna. He's uh, he's making sure that everything is up to code, as it were. Redeemer stomping his way to the south. Both of these guys have sort of decided it's all right. We don't need to fight up here in the north. We can instead just hang out in the south. Vertigo Bomber is going to be coming in here. Going to be, uh, I assume, going for harvesters going to be able to get harvesters while they're on the refinery nearly takes the refinery out as well unfortunately for Futurama his cell tanks won't be able to finish the job although if they have fired off a volley they may have been able to get everything down Avatar is now out on the field they're going to have to back up and join up with this Redeemer, but the EMP potential is going to be unreal as that Stasis Shield locks down one Redeemer and one Avatar here. But the EMPs can buy some amount of time, or maybe they actually can't as everything just gets wasted there. Stasis locking down that Redeemer. The Eradicator Hexpod going for the stomp on that Harvester. Won't quite get it. Magnetic Mines 
on top of those tripods. It's going to take time for them to actually do anything. And Vertigo is now going to be coming in for a bombing run, cleaning up two tripods, a third one extremely low on a health, but he does get the EMP on the Redeemer with that tripod before it goes down. And now the phase on the other two tripods as the EMPs fire off for Futurama. Once again, the Eradicator Hexpod getting healed up to full HP and two obelisks here to try and even the odds. Rage Gen does fire off, and I guess that'll uh, affect these guys when they come out of phase if they do, but the stomps are good and stopping them from being given orders to. The Corruptors do clean up one obelisk with the help of the Eradicator Hexpod, and the War Factory will also go down. So many husks are on display for anyone to grab, and if Futurama can push these guys out of his base, then he will have a ton of firepower at his disposal. Senna does not want that to happen. A couple of avatars going to be stepping forward, and this Eradicator Hexapod is trapped. Nicely done there. Gets the kill on those last couple of husks. I think there's only one really left here. And no, Senna makes sure that it does not stand. Eradicator Hexapod EMP'd repeatedly, just time after time after time. Ravager's going to be coming in, or Descent's rather going to be coming in here as uh, they just get shredded by the Shredder turrets, but the Shredder turrets themselves do fall. Avatar is not even going to bother to turn around. A second round of Shredder turrets should be able to deal with these guys without too much trouble. Descent's now going to be coming in in the north, going for the air tower. Won't get any vertigos on the platform. Instead, the Shredder turret will finish up everything in the north, and uh, it looks like these guys in the south have also been cleaned up. So the Descent's getting pushed back. Four cent of the Warp Chasm has been rebuilt. Two War Factories out on the front lines for Senna and Futurama decides he doesn't want to engage just yet. He's going to let the Vertigo Bombers do a lot of damage. The Splash bringing two tripods down to half health while the third tripod did get eliminated. These guys are fully charged EMPs locking down these tripods as the Shardwalkers try and add a bit of extra DPS and eliminate the Awakened Squads from actually being able to take part in this map battle. One tripod does go down or one avatar rather as the tripods are getting reclaimed but Stealth Tank going to be coming in, not able to get any real shots off. And for now, the Redeemer will pull back. Could even pull back just to Shredder turrets if that would be enough DPS to push this army back. Vertigo Bomber is about to recharge, about to get more bombs and then make short work of these last two avatars. They will be enough to kind of even things up, especially with the Shredder turret adding that extra bit of DPS. Everything goes down and this is two husks that need to be reclaimed by Futurama. Of course, Senna should just step forward and kill those husks so that they can't be taken by Futurama. Stealth Tank in the north doing a bit of damage. The response is going to be Descent's going to be popping on out of that portal, but he's low on cash. He's strapped for money and unable to get anything. Engineers now out as these guys are trading places. One avatar on the wrong side, and it's going to be two tripods on the wrong side as well. Sells off the barracks just in case. And two tripods. So he can go ahead and back those guys up. He can get himself a little bit more health. And then you can, you know, EMP guys with tripods. You can EMP guys. These Vertigo Bombers once again getting huge damage off. Another Avatar going down. Or that Avatar that was reclaimed, I guess. And the Husks will be getting sniped. The EMP does come forward. And it's enough to slow this Eradicator Hexapod down. Killing two tripods. And the Avatar Husk will go down to the Venom. It gets the snipe there, and the Redeemer can now get out of dodge, trying to distract the Eradicator Hexapod, trying to distract the uh, the Tripod from actually killing that Redeemer, as it will barely be able to escape. Full health, tri full health avatars and tripods mixed together here for Futurama as he makes a stalwart defense against this Eradicator Hexpod. And this is so much DPS. The lasers from Futurama, the EMPs unbeatable. As he comes on forward with the Vertigo, he's going to be cleaning up the trash and finishing everything else off an engineer hoping for a job, but unable to find anything as Futurama stomps his way forward. Victory within his grasp, and the fire sale has rendered Senna defeated. Another great game on Small Town USA with a very different uh, path forward for this game than the last one that we saw between these guys on Stusa. And my gosh, 
That ecograph is insane. That's almost double income. Okay, maybe not almost, but 50,000 credits difference between these two guys. That is a lot of money for Senna and unable to make it happen. That is a killer unit to death ratio. Kill to death ratio. That is amazing for Futurama, and that is what that leads to. So good use of the avatars and really good use of the EMPs. Unfortunately for Senna, unable to seal the deal, unable to clinch the victory. And that will do it for this game. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cybert, signing out.